Well basically now we're going to look at the corp rearrangement. And this is um, it's quite a good uh, reaction mechanism to learn because this is where creativity comes in when, when you're doing um, synthetic structures. Okay, so we, we'll have this. This is a typical structure you'll get from undergraduate books and that will rearrange always in equilibrium. This will rearrange um, to give this Okay, so we've got the same number of carbons here. I'm going to label them up actually, make it easier to follow. Um, it's best do one, two, three. And I'm going to label this three prime, two prime, one prime. Okay, and basically, what's going to happen? all the electrons in. So basically it's going to cyclize like this, that goes up there, that goes in there, and that goes in there to give us this um, kind of rearrangement. Okay. So this is called a 3-3 three, three sigmatropic shift. So if we move the arrows like that, we we'll get some kind of transition state. If we draw the transition state, which will look a little bit like this. Okay, so there's six electrons in there, so it's an aromatic transition state. And when that forms, if I draw, it's actually going to be that product, but I'm just going to draw it here. When that forms, yeah, we now have, I'm going to leave it like this actually, and I draw the newly formed bonds in red. As you can see, these are the newly formed bonds here. So a nice little cyclization. Six membered, uh, six electrons, sorry, in the transition state. So it's aromatic type of transition state. So it's very stable. And it rearranges back like that. Unfortunately for this reaction, it can go backwards as well. So if you start off like this and you want to make something like this, uh, then you can do under the same process. And that is a corp reaction, or corp rearrangement should I say.